Today's lecture is based on the motion of this car, which is Compton's velocity. Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. Let's start today's remote learning with do now. So, first let's draw a VT graph. And let's draw the graph using a different color. by the way. So don't draw this for all graphs. And then let's put an imaginary line in blue. And then finally we have green. So let's see the inside in green. There's question one, question two, and question three. All right. So, question one. What does... Okay. I'll, uh, I'll tell you, what do all three of these components represent? So, what does blank represent? Two. What does blank represent? Three. What does blank represent? Oh, time to fill in the blanks. Okay. Number one. What does the red line represent? Number two, what does the blue line represent? Oops, wrong color. Mm -hmm. What does the blue line represent? And number three, what does the green square code, the green in that area represent? Going to give you some time to uh, solve all three questions. And as I said, I'll continually give the answers to them. Okay, do it. I'm waiting. Now pause the video and try your own. Well, it protrudes from the y axis, and the y axis represents uh, velocity uh, or v. So the answer to this would be velocity, V. Number two, what does this uh, blue line represent? Well, I, as you can see, it protrudes or goes through a T. Second, T. So that will mean the answer is time. Number three, what does the green represent? Well, I think I need to step down for this one. So the green is the area of a V and T. The middle should be distance. Time, velocity in the middle should be distance. Okay, imagine you're on a car on the road and you uh, have a constant velocity of 10 meters per second. Six, seven, and eight. All right. So 
this is zero seconds, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. Go for eight seconds. Now, your job is to draw the PT. The VP. So VB there's for something. An AT graph. Remember this order for future lessons. So the position and the time would just be linear. I'll explain why later. And the velocity would be a co uh, would just be a straight line because it's constant that it changes. And the acceleration is zero because the velocity never changes, just stays at ten. Oh, and yeah, let's write ten to symbolize. So P of T uh, would be linear, this y equals x, because there's no acceleration, no coefficient. No, nothing. Just y equals to x. Also, some other ways to write this. Like this, this, and this. No, it's constant. y equals to 10. And again, we have the same thing. D of t is t. Uh, no, this. F of X is zero. Plus. Let's finish today's remote learning with an exit slip. So, let's take our data from before. Mm -hmm. So, we have, can make a VT graph. So, let's take our data from before, where we had eight seconds. Our car was going at 10 meters per second. Uh, Take our information from the do now. <laughs> and we can find the distance with that. So, our question is how can you find the distance? Pick up, pick up. Now, pause the video and try your own. We can do this two ways geometrically and physically. So, and uh, we know the equal vt from our do now. And you, uh, that way looks similar to the a equal to b8 formula you learned in sixth grade geometry. So if we plug in our value here, we get a or d is equal to 8 times 10, which is 80. Mm -hmm. So we know it's 80 meters. But let's see a fix. So that's just e equal a. So we now have uh, our confirmed answer. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.